Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So there is a new feature implemented just recently, the guild panel. Now let's discuss what is this feature all about. The feature is introduced as one of the event for the month of October. From the official ROX Discord, it said that the month of October is planned to be a guild theme event. So to kickstart the event, the game implement the guild panel feature. In this feature, the guild guild leader can monitor the guild members KDA in PvP and their contributions to the guild. The guild leader can send email to all members for important notification. This is actually a great function. As for now, if you want to communicate with all of the guild members, the guild need to have an external platform to communicate and share infos. Either you need a dedicated Discord channel for the guild or other communication application like WhatsApp or Telegram. Guild members now can send and give to each others to choose and encourage their buddies. This is also a great function. In the guild option, if you have a guild, there is a daily target that when the guild members send gift to each other at least 50 times, your guild will get guild pass points and fill up the guild pass progress. Filling the guild pass progress meter will give you some rewards. Uh oh. You have no goddamn idea. It's about to go down. This is only on the surface, the explanation of the guild panel feature, so let's look at the actual thing in the game. The guild panel feature will only be available to players that is in a guild, and the guild should be at least level 3. When you click on the guild panel icon, it will take you out of the game and open an external browser. If you are using a mobile phone, your game will be stopped, so not the most convenient feature design for the game. But take in mind that this is still in beta, as per mentioned in the explanation. I guess the game developer managed to design the concept of this feature but haven't been able to actually integrate it in the game. They either ran out of time to code it into the game because they want to implement it now for the October Guild theme event or they are still 50-50 whether to make this feature permanent in the game or not. So they put this feature on a tryout period just to see the player's feedback. Now the first thing you are asked to do is to link your account to this Newverse Gamer Link website so that they can retrieve your game character information. You are able to link limited to only two accounts per game. So if you have multiple accounts in ROX that you are actually played, you can only choose two to be linked in the website. This website has its own progress monitor, just like the Google Play Games function in Android. You can get achievement and experience points the more you use it. Looking daily to the game and make in-game purchase will give you experience point. Accumulate experience points will increase your growth value from N1 to N2 to N3 and so on. Though I do not see the benefit of this to the players because as it is now, it doesn't give anything other than giving the game developer the ability to track your degree of activeness playing the game. Or maybe these have not been utilized fully yet. What I mean is, there might be some future plan to make the players can use the experience point for something like debate on in-game purchase or get extra in-game perks or items when you get certain experience point sort of like raise a goal well maybe they're going to integrate this in the ROX PC client who knows next up at the bottom here on the left side is the home button this is where you can see your guild status the guild contribution overall GVG point and KVM points click any of it and it will open more details. Now there are four main things in this page. First, the guild event section. You can see the guild performance in the current activity like KVM and GVG. How many points your guild get for that activity. Next, the guild data. Here you can see all of the guild members contribution to the guild for KVM, GVG and their total contribution points. You can see their KDA in GVG and their performance in KVM. This is helpful to the more critical and advanced guild that monitor each of their members points in KVM. You know, to be competitive in the guild ranking, some guild set a target for each of their members in KVM and GVG. Like you must have a certain number of points in KVM or maybe certain KDA in GVG to see if you are really contributing to the guild aka do you have value to the guild. This is certainly a convenient tool for guild leader at least to manage their guild as 
the way they want it. Next, the gifting feature at the top right icon. Apparently, I was wrong. Instead of the normal in-game gift item, this feature allows you to send zeny, crystals, and a lot more. Let's look at what you can send. This amount is equivalent to about one US dollar. With one dollar, you can give 10,000 crystals. The next one is also one dollar with three million zeny. Three dollars give 40,000 crystals. Twenty dollars give 140,000 crystals and zeny. And the last one, the most expensive gift, $75 give a bunch of things. What the f is going on? Okay, I'm done with this video. <laughs> 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 Alright, I don't want to comment any further. Let's just next. And the final feature, you can send email to the guild members, though I do not know how this works. It requires email, so I'm not sure what is the idea here. Is this an email service like the Gmail? I don't have any idea. If I want to send a message to the specific member in the guild, I can just find them in game and private message them. It is that simple. So what do you think of the guild panel feature? For me, I don't think it is feasible for mobile version. I see this as more functional with a PC client on computer. I guess this is one of the features that we are going to have for PC version. And yes, if you are wondering, the game developer had recently sent out survey to players asking about the PC version, and I had made a video on that. If you want to know more about that, I'll link the video at the comment box below. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.